Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available, so if I mispronounce or misspell a word, make sure you have subtitles on just in case. Also, check out my Instagram page at The Artistic Horseman, where I post wonderful works of art. Thanks for listening, and enjoy this video. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is The Horseman, and I have some special yet controversial news for you all regarding an alleged new Michael Jackson album. So, according to limited sources, a Michael Jackson tribute album will be released in June this year in collaboration with Grouse Lodge Studio. Um, for those who don't know, Grouse Lodge Studio is a recording studio in Ireland where Michael Jackson spent several weeks in, t in 2006 recording new, recording new material. Um, it is said that this studio recorded many, recorded many songs for the scrapped album, This Is It. Several known singers will, uh, will accompany Michael along with the songs that Michael Jackson left unfinished. Uh, Patty Dunning, an alleged close friend of Michael Jackson and the CEO of Grouse Lodge, reportedly worked on his album for 10 years and turned down offers to not work with other artists. Um, uh, some of Michael Jackson's producers and, collab and collaborators during the 90s and 2000s will also appear on the album, including Nephew, Red One, Roddy J Jerkin, Teddy Riley, Akon, Science, and Giorgio Tw uh, Twinfort. The, song, the songs will also feature unfinished vocals from the late King of Pop, so, so, look, so we'll be looking forward to that, I guess. Um, according to Dunning, the main goal of the album is to be will, will be to feature different artists from all over the world and to keep the legacy of Michael Jackson alive. Uh, so that will be interesting. Uh, the album is said it is said to include a few artists in the K-pop music industry, um, including J Hope from BTS. The alleged album is titled "From the Heaven Growth Lodge: A King of Pop Tribute." and will be released on the 14th anniversary of Michael Jackson's passing, which is June 25th, 2023. Um, regarding posthumous releases, I'm both excited yet deeply skeptical. Uh, while this release can provide fans with a sense of closure and opportunity to hear new material from Michael Jackson and other famous artists, this trend has several downsides. Which, which, I, which I have, to which I discussed in the Lost Media video, along with the Casio Tracks video. Both will be linked in the in the description below. Um, what um, one of the main concerns is that posthumous releases may not accurately represent the artist's vision or intentions. Um, without Michael's presence overseeing seeing the recording and production process, ensuring that the final product is faithful to its original vision can be challenging, extremely challenging for that matter. Additionally, there is a risk that posthumous leases may be driven more by co commercial interest, interest than arti artistic ones, as record labels and estates seek to you know, seek to driven driven more by commercial. Uh, 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 as record, as record labels and estates seek to capitalize on an, on an artist's legacy, such as Michael's, this can lead to defective material that would not have been released if the artist were still were still alive. Uh, fi uh, finally, some critics argue that posthumous releases can be seen as a violation of an artist's privacy, as they may be releasing work that the artist did not want to share or has not finished to their satisfaction. At since since my, since Michael Jackson is a known is, is a known perfectionist. Uh, while po while uh, overall while posthumous releases may offer some benefits, they they also come with significant ri risks ri risks that should should be cautiously approached, but I would love to know your thoughts on this alleged album release in the comment section. 
Um, I doubt this is official considering it's unknown whether or not Michael's estate is involved involved in the project. Uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.